called to a throne of grace, not to the throne of law. Rocky Sinai once was the throne of law, when God came to Paran with the ten thousand of his holy ones. Who desires to draw near to that throne? To that throne we do not come now, for through Jesus the case is changed. It is a throne set upon for the purpose of the dispensation of grace, a throne from which every utterance is an utterance of grace. The scepter that is stretched out from it is the silver scepter of grace. The, decree, the decrees proclaimed from it are purposes of grace. The gifts that are scattered down in golden steps are gifts of grace. And he that sits upon the throne is grace itself. If in prayer I come before a throne of grace, then the faults of my prayer will be overlooked. In the beginning to pray, dear friends, you feel as if you did not pray. Never mind. You are not come to the throne of justice. Else when God perceived the fault in the prayer, he would spurn it. Your broken words, your gaspings and stammerings are before a throne of grace. If it be a throne of grace, then the desire of the pleader will be interpreted. Have you never seen the patient the pa when his child is trying to say something to him? Help him over the words and utter the syllables for him and the little one has half forgotten what he would say. You have seen the Father suggest the word, and so the ever-blessed Spirit from the throne of grace will help us. He will put the desires and put the expressions of these desires into your spirit. By His grace, He will di direct your desires to the things which you ought to seek for. He will teach you your wants, though as yet you know them not. He will suggest to you His promises, though, he may be able to, though you may be able to plead them. If it be a throne of grace, then all of the wants of those who come to it will be supplied. The king from off such a throne will not say, Thou must bring to me gifts, thus must offer me sacrifices. It is not a throne for receiving tribute, it is a throne for dispensing gifts. Come then, ye who are poor as poverty itself. Come ye that have no merits and are destitute of virtues. Come ye that are, that are reduced to a beggarly bankruptcy by Adam's fall and lie your own transgressions. And by your own transgressions. That is not the throne of majesty which supports itself by the taxation of its subjects, but a throne which glorifies itself by streaming forth like a fountain with floods of good things. Surely... This ought to induce many to pray who have not prayed and should make us who have long accustomed to us the consecrated to use the consecrated art of prayer to draw near with greater boldness than ever to the throne of grace. For it is by grace that ye are saved, not of works, lest any man should boast.